And a new study published in the journal One Earth has found that global heating is reducing sleep hours around the world. While most climate studies focus on economic and socio-economic outcomes, climate change is majorly impacting the daily lives of the people in multiple ways that are yet to be established. And according to researchers from the University of Copenhagen who led that study, the average individual is already losing 44 hours of sleep a year, which is 11 nights of less than 7 hours of sleep. And that's the standard benchmark for sufficient sleep. The findings suggest that by 2099, suboptimal temperatures may erode 50 to 58 hours of sleep per person in a year. Research saying that healthy adults need between 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. Babies, children and teenagers need even more sleep for their growth and development. People over 65 years of age should also get 7 to 8 hours of sleep per night. But global heating is increasing the nighttime temperatures, which means nights are warming up faster as compared to the days. And that is because of global warming causing changes to clouds where cloud cover increases and the sunlight is blocked during the day. But the clouds retain more heat and humidity at night like a blanket. Lost sleep will keep increasing as the planet continues to warm up. However, the lack of sleep affects some groups a lot more than the others. In the study, researchers used data from sleep tracking wristbands used by 47,000 people over 7 million nights and across 68 countries. They found that the sleep loss per degree of warming is about a quarter higher for women than men. It is also twice as high for those over 65 years old and three times higher for those in poorer countries. Further research is needed as lower income people are often underrepresented in studies. Policymakers will have to come up with better climate related solutions. Urban planning that takes climate challenges into account is required. People from lower income groups stand to lose the most because of the climate crisis. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.